Welcome to Solar Basics. I'm Kelsey Misbrenner, Senior Editor of Solar Power World. And I'm Kelly Pickerel, Editor-in-Chief. Adding storage to an existing solar array isn't always an easy plug-and-play process. It could be if the solar array was installed storage ready, but with the rapid advancements of Solar Plus storage in the last few years, it's unlikely many legacy solar systems can easily adapt to battery connection. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. There are just a few important questions one must ask before starting a retrofit Solar Plus storage installation project. The inverter already in use on the PV system determines a lot. For example, existing systems with microinverters will need an AC coupled system for storage. If the existing string or central inverter is in good storage ready working condition, AC coupling storage to an array is as easy as installing a new battery based inverter along with the batteries. A solar array's physical climate and political climate will also guide how to add storage to an array. Extremely hot locations will require a certain battery chemistry, and not all storage devices can be installed outside in the elements. Likewise, certain states and utilities allow the use of advanced grid functionality, like time of use arbitrage or backup power. The chosen battery type depends on what each jurisdiction allows. The incentives offered in each region could also influence what type of storage is added to an existing solar array. While it's important to consider inverter type and climate, the most important area of focus is the motivation behind why a customer is exploring storage. Whether it's for emergency power, avoiding time of use rates, or another reason, it's important to have an inverter that allows for that specific storage use and an appropriately sized battery bank to support the power needs. Adding storage to an existing solar array doesn't have to be a difficult process, but attention to detail is important. For more on Solar Plus storage, read our story online and stay tuned for the next Solar Basics videos.